back here at NSUSpartans.com, our weekly coaches show with Brent of Arbol, head coach Brandon Duval. And Brandon, you got your feet wet at home now. You, uh, yep. Spartans got to, uh, you guys got to play at home. Uh, the Spartan Classic, three good teams in here, Stetson, Wilmington, and Rutgers. We obviously didn't come out with a win. You had a, had a good shot against Stetson. Um, but, you, but against three good teams like that, I mean, what did you learn about your team this weekend that really helped them, that helped you out for down the road? Yeah, just uh, consistency once again. It, it's yeah. going to be a, it's going to be probably a continuous battle for us, um, you know. And unfortunately with us right now, if it's not one thing, it's another. Like Stetson was serving, we missed too many serves. You're not going to win many ball games if you're missing that many serves. And then we fixed our serving issue, and then it became. Um, you know, hitting issues right now and spraying the ball over the place. So it's, you see a lot of positives and then you get a lot, a lot of things you look at where you're like, only if we could have, you know, fixed our uh, fixed our issues with our balance off the floor or blocking or anything like that. And we probably would have squeezed out at least a couple more sets. Mm -hmm. um, but, but this is what we need. This is exactly what we need. We're a very young team. Um, you know, our leaders are great, but and, our, and the girls who just came in are great, but they've got to learn the college speed. They've got to learn the college game and, and it is faster and, and a lot of these girls had amazing juniors careers had very good solid clubs um, but what we need for them is to understand you know the level of blocking that they have to face on a daily basis and the level of passing and serving and consistency that what you can get away with in high school or you can get away with that maybe some other levels here and, you know for us to be successful especially with the teams that we're facing on a daily on a weekly basis we've got to continue to put things together but that's kind of what I want so I want to see us be challenged yeah and you guys like I said you're down two nothing to Stetson but you roared back mm -hmm. there's one of those that's like like where did that come from yeah. was, well that's we had it in us so. and, and then the first set against Rutgers you guys really gave them a run for the money we lost 25 20 so I mean it's like you said it's one of those things where it's like it's so close to times you see it yeah. and sometimes some of the players are just like you saw that on a consistent basis it's like wow you guys are great but still you know, obviously it takes some time, you said with a lot of new girls, freshmen really, and that's a big thing too, you guys have a lot of freshmen yeah. competing early for you. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, they need to see that the teams that we're facing aren't going to give us easy points. And that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of the biggest thing right now is, you know, we could play a lot of teams this time of year, we can bring them into the gym and we'll go see them, and, and we're going to get away with them having major service errors or having a lot of just, you know, infrequency in their play. Um, that's not what I wanted this year. I wanted us to face teams that weren't going to give us easy points. And if we were going to win, we had to really earn it. And, um, and because we do have very talented freshmen that we knew we were going to have to start, um, they needed to understand that you know, a lot of the stuff we may have gotten away with before, you just can't. A lot of the teams are playing. For us to be successful, we've got to put it together and string points together and, and, and continue have nice continued play so we're consistent. And uh, we're not there yet, but um, the good news is they're learning and we continue to get better. And I see better play out of us and I see better leadership and I see a better mentality as we go on. And it's tough to have a good mentality when you are getting these losses, but I think they understand what we're doing right now. Like I said, it's, it's one of those things, it's kind of like uh, in football where those 1A schools that play the 1AA schools, and it's 1AA just, yeah, yeah. not that it's collecting a check, but you know, it's, you look at, you can start to look at the positives, but you play that good competition, you play records, when you play them a 25-20 set against yeah. a Big East team, right. then you know, okay, we're capable competing yeah. with a lot of other schools, especially in the MEAC, where the level of competition isn't quite as high. Right. But now, obviously, next week you get to go it's yeah. big time. you got two Pac-12 teams, Colorado, Washington State, and Air Force, and Cal State, Bakersfield, um, out of the uh, Air Force, Colorado Invitational. So, I mean, what are you guys going against teams like that? I mean, what's, what's your mentality heading into this weekend? Just be competitive. Just go out there and compete. I mean, this is an, an opportunity for our program to go face major competition, mm -hmm. something that I don't think we've ever done. Um, you know, like, like you said, we are bringing in good competition here, and in the future we'll be facing you know, some more CAA teams like VCU and William & Mary, but there's nothing bigger for us than going to have to face a Pac-12 team. Um, we're going out there and, and seeing the likes of Air Force or, or even Cal Bakersfield, where all of them are, are very good programs, all of them are well-established, all of them are playing some pretty good competition, and we want to be a part of that. And once again, it's, just, it's an opportunity for our girls to see, you know, this is what it's going to take for us to compete at this level. Um, these are the things that are unacceptable for our program at this level. And, and it's an eye-opening experience for a lot of them. And it's good, and I'm glad. And, and you know, unfortunately, I don't want to say that I'm not too concerned about our record, because it's tough. You do want to be successful. Yeah. 
but I want us to understand what Division One volleyball is like, and I want us to reach that next level and, and, and catapult ahead. And not that our conference is easy; it's by no means it's not. There's some teams in our conference doing some big things right now. But I think by the time we get in the conference, we'll have a better understanding of you know, what level of serving we need to be, you know, what we need to accomplish, and how what level of passing our hitters need to be this efficient and our setters need to be this accurate for us to find any sort of success and potentially improve in our conference. Yeah, and like I said, you don't you don't get better by playing weaker teams. Right. You get better by playing teams that are, are better than that's, you. And that's that's what we're hoping for. That's it what brings we're out the best in you, hopefully. Right. Uh, now, aside from the consistency part, you know, this is obviously the last weekend tournament on the road. After that, you got another home tournament here, and then it's straight into MEAC season. Right. So, going on the road, besides the consistency, which you said it's been an issue at times, what else are you looking for the team to really do this weekend? Um, make better, or maybe something they're already doing really good. Are already doing better that they can keep doing. I'd be honest with you, I think bonding. I think uh, becoming more cohesive as a unit. You know, just we have a lot of great girls, a lot of uh, various backgrounds in the, in the sport. Um, you know, we have seniors, juniors, sophomores. We have a. When I first got here, I feel like we had three seniors and all freshmen. Yeah. And now we have a nice balance throughout every single class. Um, you know, I really enjoy being around these girls. This has definitely been a, a very nice team to be around. And for us to be on a road, having to travel, and it's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. You know, packing your there, just yeah. packing your bags, and the fact that we're flying out so early in the morning, and um, and you know, traveling in a van and all this other stuff. It's all these little added stress elements. But I think you know, our team just being together and then going out and experience a different part of the country. Darcy's from uh, Colorado, yep. so it's gonna be nice for her to see some family. And and um, there's a lot of people on our team that have never been in a part of that country before, so. It's going to be exciting. You're saying the bond, not just you know, on the court, but you know, off the court. You can go visit some places or maybe see a movie or whatever you guys want to do. Right. You've got time you know, afterwards, too, to do uh, the best stuff as well. Yeah, yeah it's going to be fun. I think uh, you know, we, we're going to talk and have talked about what is our goal coming up this weekend. And we understand the competition is going to be pretty heavy for us. And, yeah. and we want to go out there and be competitive and, and not stress over the little things and not get caught up on one point here or one point there. But continue to push and we know if we play our best game we have an opportunity and that's the biggest thing we want is if we, everybody raises their level if everybody's on the same page and uh, you can't do that without having all your teammates pushing you and once again getting on the road being around your team getting to be with them get to know them better and a little bit it's all going to add up as we get into conference and there's no better way like you said to uh set your team's mental capacity and your, their mental toughness mm -hmm. and uh, flying two time zones west and playing Pac-12 school. There's teams that do it all over this country, and, 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 and I've been here long enough to think, why not us? Why can't we be that team to kind of progress and, and get up to that level? And it's going to take some time, and we're going to get some. We're going to go through our lumps and growing pains, but yep. got to go through them. And for us to be able to get to that next level, we, it's something that's for me. I think it's mandatory for us to do. Yeah, like I said, growing pains always lead to better stuff down the road. Like I said, the Spartans will be at Colorado uh, this weekend. November, or uh, not November. Yeah. Not quite November yet, but September, uh, September 15th and 16th to be at Colorado and at Air Force. And then they uh, come back here in Nicholas Hall, September 21st and 22nd. They'll be hosting South Carolina State, Hampton, and Texas Pan American. We'll talk more about that next week on the Volleyball Coaching Show. And for all your information this year on NSU Volleyball, don't forget to keep checking back at NSUSpartans.com.